In this Blue Nose 2 Rebuilding History segment, we're going to look at laying the fourth keel. Before the fourth and final piece of keel can be laid, the first three pieces must be bolted together. Holes are drilled through the three layers of assembled keel, about three feet thick. Threaded rods are then pounded into the holes and bolted at either end. At the forward end of the keel, a line has been drawn determining the sweep of the stem post to be attached after the fourth keel is laid. The excess blocks of wood are removed first, and then each piece is cut to the proper angle. This is then planed level. From this vantage point, you can see the fourth keel laying alongside to the left of the keel assembly. You're able to see the six bolts on the fourth keel at the first scarf joint. Work is continuing along the keel to complete the bolting of the remaining scarf joints. Holes are drilled to countersink the bolts on the top and the bottom so that they are level with the keel. There are sections of the fourth keel that have had areas cut away. This is where the first or garbard plank of the hull will be set into the keel. The fourth keel is then hoisted up and set into place. It is checked for fit at the stern post and along the length of the keel. The fourth keel is then hoisted off and set down so any adjustments may be made. The angle of the stern post is measured using a bevel and this angle is transferred to the end of the fourth keel. This end is then planed. Any high spots are then planed down. Tar is then applied to the stern post and over the entire length of the fourth keel. The fourth keel is then hoisted up one last time and set down to complete the keel assembly. The keel assembly is then clamped at various places along the keel. Holes are drilled through the entire keel assembly, which is over four feet thick and threaded rods will be pounded through and attached with bolts at the top and the bottom. At the forward end of the fourth keel, the angle is transferred and then cut off to align with the rest of the keel assembly. This is then planed level. The keel is complete and waiting for the stem.